Tonight we are getting a better look at crime in our cities and the efforts to try to stop it. This is Winston-Salem's crime mapping website. We filtered it to only show reports of assaults, homicides and weapons. Since Valentine's Day, it shows more than 100 reports. Remember, Valentine's Day was just seven days ago. We often hear from leaders in law enforcement about the need to stop crime and catch criminals. They also say they need your help doing it. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffries joins us live now in Forsyth County after talking with concerned citizens about some of their solutions. As we speak, police and deputies are having trust talks with the community here at the college, and they have these talks to try to strengthen the relationship between law enforcement and community members. But community activists say they are tired of simply talking. They want to take steps to fix this problem, and they're doing it that and they're doing that by reaching our youth before they start going with the wrong crowd. It all happens here. This building is home to the Southside Rise Foundation, led by David Moore, who aims to give at risk kids a creative outlet after school. Moore also runs an organization that teaches people who are re entering society a trade. If you smart enough to sell drugs or anything, you, are, you could be an entrepreneur. You just need to change up the product, make it something legal. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about you being soft if you're not selling something like on a gangster level. You can be a smart businessman. Fix cars, sell cars, that's your trade. You know what I'm saying? And be good at it. You know what I'm saying? You want to put work in and you want to earn it. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing. Devin Guy says he spent over a decade behind bars. Since he got out, he has been determined to keep kids from making the same decisions he did. He shares this message with those he mentors. You don't have to be accepted. You can be yourself. You don't have to be somebody that you're not. A lot of these guys feel like they have to, you know what I'm saying, be a part of that, and you don't. And, like, I was, I ain't gonna, I was part of that. I was part of that. But them 17 years changed my life. And my, my daughter definitely changed my life. She gave me, made me, I'm to my, made me look at life different. So it's my, I, don't, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to be here until they bury me. I'm going to try to help these kids. Activists say they need more financial backing and more people. If you're interested in becoming a mentor, they're calling on you to step up and make a difference. Live in Winston-Salem, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.